Hello everyone and welcome to The Vortex, where lies and falsehoods are trapped and exposed. I'm Michael Vorce. If you saw the TV show Fox and Friends the Wednesday before Thanksgiving, and you're Catholic, you might have felt really disturbed. New York Archbishop Timothy Dolan, who is now president of the U.S. Conference of Catholic Bishops, was being interviewed. Unsurprisingly, the topic of Thanksgiving came up, and Dolan said the following. For Thanksgiving, it's a time of the year when people are open to the Lord, and, and we don't think about ourselves. We're grateful to God. We're conscious that somebody, some you call him or her, whatever you want, somebody beyond us is in charge, and we are immensely grateful and that it's not about... Those inexplicable comments came from the head of the United States bishops. Quote, some call him or her, whatever you want, somebody beyond us. That somebody is Jesus Christ, period. Why is there always this incessant, constant, non-stop, knee-jerk, automatic reaction to pander to the politically correct, watered-down understanding of the faith on the part of so many leaders in the church? Do you think for one minute, if an imam would have been on the set, he would have said something like, we are grateful to Allah, but also know that some people say Jesus or Yahweh or the lizard God. No, the representative of that religion would have spoken in terms of his religion, and nobody would have cared. If a rabbi would have been on, would he have said, we are grateful to Yahweh or whoever, Jesus or Buddha or whoever the other people believe him or her to be? Why is it always the case that Catholic leaders are the ones doing the backpedaling and making others feel comfortable? The job of the leaders of the church is to announce the truth of Jesus Christ, that he is God and he alone. You don't have to go out, go out of your way to say that we know others don't believe that. Duh. To blazes with this continual tipping of the hat to diversity. Diversity in belief about God is anti-God anyway. There is no such thing as multiple beliefs about God. God is one, not diverse, but that's for another show. What exactly is going through the heads of these church leaders when they simply can't open up their mouths and clearly say very shortly and sweetly, Jesus is God and that's who we're grateful to, period. If someone is offended, so what? I rather expect that God might be offended by being shuffled off to the corner of relativistic, politically correct diversity. And by God, I don't mean him, her, whatever you want, somebody. I mean the Holy Trinity and that invisible Trinity made visible in our blessed Lord Jesus Christ. The only reason I can imagine why you wouldn't want to offend somebody is because you want to be popular and everybody's friend. Guess what? When you are friends with Christ, you get automatic enemies. So, happy Thanksgiving. And remember, who we are giving thanks to is God, Him who redeemed the world and opened the way to salvation. Him, that person, and no one else. And if you're offended by that, oh well, enjoy the turkey. God bless you. I'm Michael Voris. Please help us keep delivering these kinds of messages that so desperately need to be heard and acted on. Join RealCatholicTV.com today as a premium subscriber, become immersed in the faith established by Jesus Christ. The Catholic Church is the only hope against evil because that is its God-given mission. As our Lord said, apart from me, you can do nothing. Join RealCatholicTV.com today as a premium subscriber and come to learn and love Christ more deeply.